steak, steak, glorious steak. Who doesn't love steak? Oh. Oh. I'm Chewy and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily reverse sear a bone-in ribeye steak to a perfect medium rare. So just sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. Steak. Big, glorious, intramuscular, fat-laden steak. Look what the great people out at Gippsland Premium Meats have sent my way. This 55 mil, 1.3 kilogram Robins Island bone-in ribeye, 7 to 8 plus score Wagyu steak. If this isn't getting you excited, are you even alive? To season this steak, we're just gonna place it on a wire rack over a tray. For flavor, I'm keeping it simple and I'm just gonna give it a bit of a rub down with some avocado oil today. Mm. And then hitting it with an even mix of salt, pepper, and garlic. And I like to season my steaks at least an hour before I cook them. Today, I'm gonna to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm gonna be pairing it up with one charcoal basket. Why? Because I want to use this setup to slowly bring the steak up to temp over about an hour. So we just need to put the charcoal basket in the Weber, then half fill a chimney up with lump charcoal and dump it into that charcoal basket. Then we just need to place the grill back in and then we're just gonna add one piece of cherry wood onto the grill. Just making sure you carefully place it on the grill over the lit charcoal. Then pop the lid on, opening the vents and we're gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. Well, it's never too early to start the beer timer, is it? So I'm gonna insert an internal temp probe into the center of the steak, and I'm gonna set the thermometer to 45 degrees Celsius. Now don't get excited, this isn't our finished temp. And then we'll place it on the opposite side of the lit fuel, then placing the lid on, making sure the lid vents over our steak. Why? Because that's gonna draw the smoke and the heat across our food. Now, if you don't have an internal meat probe, I suggest picking yourself up an instant read thermometer. I know I use mine for everything. Well, nearly everything. Today, I'm cooking this steak with a medium indirect heat of 135 degrees Celsius but then finishing it off with a high direct heat in a cast iron pan. This steak's gonna take around about an hour to be cooked to the perfect 54 degrees Celsius medium rare. Or for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Our steak's reaching internal temp of 45 degrees Celsius, but it isn't fully cooked yet. So hold your horses, we've still got more work to do. It's just time to get it off the heat and Rest under some foil for 13 minutes. A good general rule for resting meat is one minute per 100 grams, and this steak weighs 1.3 kilograms. It's time to sear our steak, and since we've already imparted a nice smoky flavor to it, we don't need to cook it any further in the Weber, so we're going to use a cast iron pan. And we want this hot, the hotter the better, because we need to create a crust, and crust is flavor, and we all want flavor. Well, I do anyway. So then all we need to do is add some high smoke point oil like avocado oil. And then when it's hotter than the sun, we're just gonna pop the steak in there and sear each side for 90 seconds. Woohoo! Look at that. Then once both sides are seared, we're gonna lower the heat. We're gonna add some butter, some crushed garlic cloves, and some rosemary. And then just keep basting the steak for a couple of minutes to keep it moist. And then we just need to remove it from the pan once the internal temp reaches 54 degrees and prepare to dig in. No need to rest the steak any further. We've already done that. First up, we need to remove the bone, and I tend to like to use a knife for that. And then we just wanna slice it up, and we wanna see a nice pink color. Look at that. Perfect. We have finished this steak at the perfect medium rare of 54 degrees Celsius. And cooking the perfect steak couldn't be any easier. This steak is seriously that good. It should be illegal. Mm. As always, cheers for watching.